What's up, it's Keith Kelfison in this vlog. We're going out on the boat, my friend William's boat, and I'm getting my dad to go. I said, Papa Kelf, you gotta come with me somewhere. He's like, oh, what, where, Keith? I don't know. I'm like, just come with me. Do you trust me? I'm on my way there. So he's in my truck right now. Shh, he doesn't even know. Okay. They change colors to the music off his phone and everything. You're allowed to walk on the outside with there? No. Nope. Oh, you're really not? No. Oh. They changed that about 20 years ago. We're back now. We're about to grab some food real quick at this restaurant called Bumpers and Delicious Food. And I'll see you in a second. Oh, it's actually pretty decent. And it's gone. You didn't even get to see it. Are they, is that cooked enough, Keith? I can open it. This guy is, uh, he's a lumberjack with a heart of gold. He does cat rescue. So he climbs up trees. A cat's been stuck in trees for days, and the homeowners are freaked out. He goes up, rescues the cat, brings him down. And, like, the people are crying and stuff, and he's, like, gives them their cat back. And he's become famous locally for cat rescue. <laughs> It's, it's funny, but it's amazing, because who would do that? Do you know how much that means to people? Thank you, sir. Ah, <laughs> oh, he bounced. All right, guys. Back home now in the Kelfus Media dungeon room. But I got to show you something. This is going to be amazing. My little sister had a baby. That's not the baby. Here's the baby. Wow. She's beautiful. Look at her little hands. Look. Wow. Look at these little tiny ears. <laughs> Tell me God doesn't exist. You must be the happiest mom ever. I am. Hey everybody, they love the kids. this is my little <laughs> sister. I'm very proud of you. You, you made a baby. I did. Just don't think of how. Before me. <laughs> yes, before you. It was the oldest and the youngest and we're, I'm waiting, Keith. When are you and Ashley gonna have a baby? We have to travel the world first. You need to try for <laughs> at least a nephew, because I, I want a nephew. Yeah. But we have a baby. There's the baby. <laughs> I want a baby. No, I really want. I want. Dude, I want kids right now. But like, my wife has her business that's that's uh, expanding. I'm trying to expand my business. We have so much shit going on. It would be like a boat anger on our lives right now. And 
there's there's absolutely no way right now. Just a couple more years. You'll never be the right time. You'll never have enough money. I want a kids now. All right, we're having a baby. Like, Look at this beautiful the salad the wife of Chan made. And he picked out one that wasn't like ready yet. Mm -hmm. Really good. Wow, you got the avocados and the croutons, like meat and meatless, the cheese. Meat you are one heck of a salad meat. maker. Hey guys, you got to try this dressing. The best dressing. It's called no. garlic expressions. Oh, oh, there's chunks of garlic, and it's amazing if you like garlic. Cool. And she makes this killer um, vegetarian lasagna. Let me move these breadsticks. Look at that. Oh. They just say dinner. I'm exhausted. You have cheesecake? Cheesecake! Look at the sprout. God, the cheesecake's so delicious. Unbelievable. Not the dog food. Why is the dog food next to the cheesecake? We need to do slow motion on the cheesecake in three, two, one. Look who just showed up. I don't like being on there. Papa <laughs> Kel. I just colored my hair too, it's all matte. My it looks nice. nice. Yeah, it's all nice. You know, the first day you do it. I like how you spike it up. Yeah. But I mean, it's close to Mickey. You just colored it. There's you got the Mickey's. He's an Ewok dog. Good morning. It's, yeah, it's the next day. It's the next day. So. I actually got to go get these guys set up on a job site so they have all their tools and everything that they need. And the wifey and I are going away on a little vacation, a much needed vacation, a very much needed vacation. I'll see you there. Hey, look at this. My little box of Kleenex in the truck. I buy these. This is my drone charger. <laughs> these are little fresh sticks. And I stick them in here, oh, and it keeps the Kleenex box from moving. Without it, I'd be screwed. From the second you wake up, water bottle in your hand. A lot of ailments or e even headaches are just, we're a massively dehydrated culture. For some reason, we're not trained and conditioned or taught that we should drink a lot of water. I did some studies of health, nutrition, sleep, you know, over the winter, you can learn a lot when you get a little bit more time and water is detrimental. It's crucial. Like you should be force feeding yourself water all day, every day, nonstop. You know, fruit juices like orange juice, apple juice, grape juice, grapefruit juice, they're loaded with sugar and they're actually really bad for you. Uh, I'm guessing unless it's like a freshly squeezed. So all the enzymes are still in there. But if it's just been sitting in a bottle, you're just drinking dead matter that's filled with sugar, which has an acidic ash to it. It has a low pH, so it converts to acids in your body, lowers the pH, and your body has to fight to raise the pH. Um, look up The pH Miracle by Dr. Young. It's a beautiful book. Uh, paperback and on audible.com, trust me. If you have aches and pains and, and you're not even that old yet, Check out that book, dude. It's amazing. All right, we gotta run up in Harbor Freight real quick to get some tarps. This job specifically, we actually did the landscape install there a couple years ago. It's filled with decorative stone. So everything has to be tarped when we're trimming the shrubs. It's all the shrub trimmings fall into the tarps. So I'm running up in here to get a handful of tarps real quick. I don't care how much it costs. This is the way it is. It's weird in Harbor Freight. You gotta go right towards what you want because you'll get stuck in here for like an hour. I love this store. Oh. Just look straight ahead. Thank you. Now we're gonna stop by a customer's house and pick up a wheelbarrow we had to leave in their backyard because there was so much. Anyways, I gotta go pick up a wheelbarrow from customer's backyard. So I want, I want you to, to live your dreams. I want you to succeed. I want you to, to be great, and you're doing great. Pat yourself on the back for the great things you've done and things that happened in the past to you or the things that maybe you mistakes you've made you know what some of those things weren't your fault
those people who cut you down and criticize you and they don't support you you don't have to cut them out of your life completely just spend a little bit less time with them <sighs> take a breath and realize that the sun is shining the birds are chirping and it's game time it's your time put your hand on your chest and take a deep breath and say it's my time say it take a breath and say it's my time it's my time it's my time it's my time it's my time. See, you could say it in different ways. In every different way you say it, it's a different meaning. It's a specific motion, emotion. And when you say it the specific way, in that right emotion, it's like the stone cutter. You kept hitting a stone with the hammer, a big stone. It was like, what is he doing? He keeps just hitting the stone with the hammer, but one day he hits it the right way, and a crack goes all the way down the stone, and the thing just splits in half. Or, if, if you're not there yet, you can add a little bit of anger. It's my time. When you get so sick and tired of being sick and tired, and you say, wait a second. It's my time. This is my time. No, 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 no. You're not going to interfere and cut in. It's my time. This is my time to shine. Say that. Yeah, dog. It's your time. What's going on here? I hope not something not too bad. Oh, man, that's horrible. These are whenever a car accident happens they're good people that were just leaving out the door to go to work oh my god so horrible god bless them already we're here this whole property trim all the trees and shrubs on the property pull any weeds pull out around the hostas clean it all up make sure you lay down tarps put down a ton of fresh decorative stone gonna be beautiful man okay this is taking forever putting all the tools back into the trailer since the trailer was broken we were working out of the truck so the truck was piled high with tools all right get some gas get some gas man this truck takes, um, it takes ethanol too, so it'll fill up the whole truck for like 35 bucks, but it burns quicker? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking about, thinking about buying my buddy Nick Shemansky's F350. It's a 2014, only has 37,000 miles on it. Comes with a badass wide out western plow. He wants 26 grand for it. So I might have to stop by the bank and, and apply for a loan.